Hello, hello. Hi, Jen. How are you, darling? First one in the room. Hi, Jackie. How are you, darling? Today, we're going to make a little canvas. I'm not going to probably use everything in here, but I went into the junk box of toys. <laughs> and I call it a junk box because I don't have small children, but I do have kids that sometimes come around and um, I'll have like little toys for them. So I kind of went in there scavenging for um, just some things that I can pull out and kind of use on this little canvas here. I'm doing good, darling. How do I sound, you guys? Do I sound good? Hopefully I don't sound like a crazy lunatic robot like, like the last time. And so far it looks good on my end. So I'm going to use these camp, well, one of these canvases that Isabel gifted me. So I'm going to use one of these. <clears throat> these are 8 by 10. And I think this should be pretty cool to create something. Um, I also, I'm thinking about using this butterfly somewhere in the center of this. So I'm going to see how that's going to all work out. So we'll see what happens. Hi, Tanya. How are you, lovely? How are you doing? I missed you last week. We have some toys here, you guys. <gasps> some toys. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm going to see what I'm going to do with these toys. This I probably won't be able to, um, to use. Somebody try to use this for a comb. Yes, definitely little kids were playing with this one. Because they was combing something with it. <laughs> uh, I'm finding blonde hair. None of us here have blonde hair. Dun, dun, dun. And the mystery deepens. Did who change their avatar? Me? Oh, yes, Tanya. Very, very pretty, Tanya. I might do that one day. One day. When I feel courageous enough to be on in here like, hey, you guys, look, it's me. <laughs> One day. Look what I found. Anybody remember these from when they were little? With the little view things that you click, click, click. I get these from the thrifty store sometimes when they when they have them because I have a little viewfinder for them, and, but I have a whole bunch of them that, um, you know, little kids like to play with all of that stuff. Anything to keep them calm and sitting down when they're here. <laughs> right? So we got some little Legos. I got some wooden dominoes, some metal pieces. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, some little dominoes. I got this little thing that looks like a ladder. I don't even know, you guys. I hope that this takes the just so well. I got a little bottle. Oh, um, most things from the bottle. I even got a little cap. This is all stuff that I found in this box, you guys. And there's still so much in it. Like, it's ridiculous. So I figured I'd start using some of them and seeing what I can come up with. So I think the first thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm not going to prime this canvas because I do have to go over everything with, a, um, with gesso anyways. So I think what I'm going to do... Is I'm gonna get my um my little glue gun out and I'm gonna start using that to kind of um start gluing down some of these things and seeing what I come up with. 
see what I come up with. I even got some packaging nutty. Save which, Janet? What you need from here? Because I got more. What you need? What you need? I'm the hookup. I'm the hookup hookup. So I'm going to cut some of them. I'm going to, you know, pretty much open this whole thing up as much as I can. And I'll use some of that. Who else is here? Oh, you you want some of these? I have I have of those. I have. I have quite a little stack actually. And for some reason I'm always bumping into them in the thrifty store, but I've never really thought to use them for like art. So I figured today would be the best day to do it. I was kind of like stumped, like what am I gonna do? I wasn't really sure. My mojo was a little bit low, you guys. I was um trying to get into my closet so that I can pull out I fix computers which most of you guys already know that about me. Um I went to college for computer science and I learned a lot about how to build computers and take them apart and the workings so on and so forth of computers. So um I'm one of those people that I will buy a used laptop that might have something wrong with it and actually turn it into a project of repairing it and fixing it and so on and so forth. Um and so over over the years um I've collected you know, motherboards, all different kinds of circuitry and just different components that um, are in laptops and computers, so on and so forth. Um, but I was trying to get to that bag because I have like, it's not necessarily like a bag bag. It's like a, one of those hefty bags um, that you use for like buying groceries, you know, those really sturdy plastic ones. But it's all the way deep in my closet. And you guys, my closet is like a little bedroom. Like it's huge like that. Um, and it's all the way deep in there. And now I couldn't get it out. <laughs> so I'll probably do that in a different project and do something steampunkish because I had a, another idea for today, but it switched on me. Hola, Isabel. Look what I'm using. Hi, Kiki. I'm using one of the canvases that you sent me today, darling. And this butterfly was sent to me by none other than Miss Tanya. So I'm going to be using these two components in this today. That's the goal, you guys. Fingers crossed. So I know a lot of you guys collect, especially if you have small children or you have nieces and nephews, so on and so forth. Over time, you'll find yourself collecting just different things. You'll get playing cards that are end up missing two or three cards, and then you just feel like throwing the whole deck out. You know, you end up with dominoes that end up missing one or two dominoes, and you just feel like throwing the whole set out. So I normally don't do that because kids can use these to build stuff with, even though they're not um, all the way there. They'll still use it for building purposes. So I tend to save those kinds of things. So today, in the closet for the circuits and the, you know, the bag of um, little things that I have, I ran into this. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with this today. So this is what we're going to do. And like I said, I don't know what exactly all the way through and through. I just know that I want to um, use this. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut these in half. And I'm probably just going to use two and not all the way through. I'm not going to use the third one. Um, so I'm going to cut these. I got to get my glue gun out because I know for a fact I'm going to be using that. I spent like a month. I couldn't find this thing. <laughs> and I finally found it. And it was in front of me the whole time, just tucked away. Isn't that crazy how that happens? You'll have things right in front of your face and can't see it. So, you guys, I'm going to turn this on. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to go gluing down whatever I can with my glue. And then I'll, I'll bond some of the heavier pieces um, with the glue gun. So, right now, I'm just trying to figure out composition-wise, like, what I want to do. So I'm thinking this is gonna go somewhere in the center, maybe. I also have this little piece of canvas that I was, it's not canvas, it's um, chipboard that I was kind of working on, playing with some stenciling. Um, so maybe I'll do something like, 
I'll do something like that. And put that in the center somewhere. And this reminded me of like a gear. So I figured I can put that somewhere. Which way I'll do it down like that. Um, maybe somewhere down here. I got this little butterfly out. I usually don't go ahead and um, play with layouts right out of the gate. Usually what I'll do is I'll just, you know, kind of wing it and play by ear. But since I'm dealing with such um, kind of bulky kind of items and I have such a small space, I really want to make sure that um, I can give, you know, do it justice um, for the amount of space that I have. Oh, Coquito. He's here. He'll be joining us in a second. Cheesecake. Cheesecake Coquito. What? Girl, you inventing something new? Cheesecake Coquito. Yum, yum. That sounds weird, but tempting. <laughs> weird and tempting, but yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see. So I just kind of want to um, play with these things here and just kind of see where I can add um, different little things, you know? Different little things. The good thing about Legos, you can kind of stack them. So maybe I'll stack something like that and I'll make sure that I glue these down. Hello. Yeah, babe. Asking about you. I know you lie. Say hello to the world. <laughs> hello, world. I am here. <laughs> uh, thank you, darling. It's coming along. It's coming along. Yes, I must say so. I must say so. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see. It's all about creating fun little elements, you guys. Adding weird and unconventional little things. And maybe I can add this pencil here. Or maybe I'll get really froggy and add. What do you guys think? The lion? I have this little lion that I can kind of glue onto this butterfly and give him wings. Or I have a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Which one do you guys think? Which one do you guys think? Let's see. All right, so I'm kind of, you know, happy, happy with this so far. So I think I know what I'm going to do um, for the most part. I don't want to spend too much drying time because I have to go into all of this with gesso um, to kind of, you know, lighten it up a little bit. So hopefully I remember. I should take a picture. This is the best way for you guys to remember what you're doing, especially when you're working with these kinds of layouts, is take a picture of it so that you have it um, there for you to see. So I'm gonna take a picture of it really quickly so that I can hopefully remember where I put everything at if I even bother to look at it. So I kind of have an idea, see? Take a picture of my little layout there. I'm gonna put this here for now. And I think I'm gonna start with gluing down these dominoes. Let's see how this is doing. Almost there, almost there, almost there. I want some of this nutting somewhere around here though. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see where I put some nutting. Maybe I can put it under the Lego block. No. Will I even be able to add nutting in here? We'll see. We'll see. The netting might just have to go for now. All I see is little thumbs up everywhere. 
Oh, and I have these little bottle caps. You know I'm going to have to use these little bottle caps somewhere. So, um, I'm just going to go into it, you guys. I'm just going to go into it, and I'm going to add... I added... Thank you, Mother. Thank you, baby. This was straight. So I'm going to add this straight down. And I'm adding both glues just in case, um, you know, the glue wants to get a little wonky on me. <laughs> I appreciate the love. I really, really do. And then as far as painting, um, I'm not sure what color scheme I'm going to go with yet because I'm pretty sure I'm going to alter that butterfly somehow as well. So I'm going to add uh, this little, oh, forgot to add the hot glue. See? Forgot to add the hot glue. So I'm going to add this little element right here, little domino. And there's a domino here. I'm going to add this. All these little dominoes I'm going to add straight up. And I'm going to see how this whole thing starts playing out. If there's anything that I feel I don't like as I go forward, then I'll just remove it as best as I can. So I'm gonna push this in. I'm also probably gonna add some flowers here and there to this after it's all said and done, just to finish embellishing it. Coffee time. It's always coffee time with you guys. Always coffee time. So let's put these two pieces here for now. Let's um, take this off, take this off. This is going to go in the corner. This is going to go on top of that. Let's remove this. And let's glue some of these down. And actually, I think what I want to do, if I can, can I remove these little plastic things? They do a good job. <laughs> they do a good job of... Um, getting these things out. So let me get myself a, a blade and uh, let me get my little glass table here, my little glass mat so that I can use my blade on here and um, remove those little windows because I, I want the gesso to kind of go through it. I don't want, I don't want that plastic kind of repelling it, you know, allowing it to kind of crack here and there. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove these, remove all the glass off of that. And for that, I'm going to use my handy dandy little tool. Those Lego blocks? Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something. There's nothing but creativity flowing oh, through these veins. The the yes, I did. They're all on punishment. <laughs> So let's see if I can kind of get these out. Oh, that's cool. They just pop out. I don't even have to go too crazy. Bustelo? Oh, my. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to remove those. Let me see if I can get these out as easily as I got those out. Oh, okay. Those are actual pictures, you guys. They're uh, actual film. I don't even need my blade for that. I could just pop them through. Not, hmm? Not, Not unless your families was the dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> it's all dinosaurs in here. <laughs> now let me know if you got an uncle Tosaurus Rex <laughs> so I can stay away from his ass. <laughs> T-Rex. No, 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 no. T-Rex. Stay far, far away from me, Mr. Rex. 
All right, these don't come out so easy. These must be made in the year 2000 something. <laughs> they don't pop out. So these I'll have to definitely go into and cut out. Let's see. Oh boy. Yeah. I should have thought about this a little bit more. <laughs> should have just got all the dinosaur ones out. Those are easier to kind of do. Um, these I'm going to have to kind of go into. I've never really done one, a video, in all the time that I've been here. I've never really done one, I don't think, with toys. I just kind of collected a whole bunch of toys. Usually I look for the nuts and the, the, nuts and the bolts and the wires and stuff. Um, but never really the toys. And I had these sitting there for a while now. Yeah. I love kids. So I always, you know, made it a point to buy toys for kids. Like, especially for when they will come to my house so they can, like, play and just, you know, be cool, calm, and collected, <laughs> and not writing on the walls, and <laughs> not jumping on the sofas, and you know how that goes, right? Um, so I, I made sure that I had a little bit of everything, like even electronic-wise, so that they can be like entertained while they were here. <laughs> so almost there. Almost there, you guys. <laughs> well, no more babysitting, so that was a long while ago. I no longer do that duty. Mm -mm. And mine are grown, grown, grown. It's so. Um, Boy, they do a good job with these things nowadays, you guys. These kids cannot pop these things out, let me tell you. They can sit there all day long and chew on it and try and do all kinds of stuff, and they will not be popping these little films out unless they're, you know, old school. These ones, this year 2000 and whatever ones, not easy, not easy. Yes, they're well. I don't know if they're a better brand wow. per se. What brand is this? This is the Mucha Lucha, which is a cartoon that they had on Cartoon Network or Nickel no, Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon. I think it was the Cartoon Network that they had it. So, this is definitely 2000 and something right here on this one. But as far as brands, it's uh, it says it just says Warner Brothers Incorporated, it doesn't say what brands. But I think that that's the cartoon one. That's um, who made the cartoons or whatever you want to call it. It's like those little Mexican wrestling cartoons. They used to have like the masks and all of that stuff on them. Like that's what's on the cover. The other one was, um, the other one that, I, that was a lot easier was dinosaurs. So that one was probably from like the 90s. Almost there, you guys. Almost there. What a tedious little task, right? Mucha lucha. Hmm. Mucha lucha. Mucha lucha. That's what I said. <laughs> He's so bad, you guys. He's trying to throw me off my A game over here. But I have Aladdin. I have a whole bunch of different ones. What the heck? My phone just vibrated. Doesn't people know better than not to hit me up during work hours? They should know by now. I am indisposable. Not indisposable. Oh, why? How you guys say it? Unavailable. Because disposable is to throw away. I know that. Something that you can throw away. All right. So. All 
All right, the last one. Last of the Mohicans. Where is the cap to this blade? Because safety first, you guys. Safety first. All right, so I got this done. I'm not going to stress myself out over that mess right there. Let me get my little makeshift canvas. And start with the gluing process. Hi, Deb. How are you, my lovely? So I'm going to just kind of do this like so. We're doing great, and how are you? How are you doing, Deb? Bam chicka bam bam. Bam chicka bam bam. All right, so I'm gonna add these little <laughs> things here. I gotta get myself another glue stick. And hopefully I I never measure. But you're right, I should measure. <laughs> but I'm gonna put this, so it should be fine. If I gotta cut the, this off, then I'll cut this off because I already feel like it's gonna be a little off anyway. No jodas Pablo. No jodas Pablo. There we go. Prime stop. No need to measure. <laughs> no need to measure, you guys. We fixed it. it, it. We fixed it. it, it, it. Hi, Linda. How are you, darling? Mm -hmm. She comes to us all the way from the other side of the world. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got those down. I got those down. Got those down. Let's see now where we go from here. I always like, you know, sing a little bit when I'm crafting because usually I have music on. So I'm usually singing to music that I have playing in my ears or you know, in my in my room. I usually um, you know, get in the groove of things. It helps to like kind of let time fly. And then between what I'm creating and what I'm listening to as far as the music, I'm like in a completely different place, you guys. Kids know better than to talk to me when I'm in that zone because I won't remember Jack that they say. <laughs> I won't remember nothing. Oh. So bad, so bad. All right, so I'm gonna glue this down to this. But um, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna glue this. Just gonna kind of let this. I gotta get myself better glue sticks, you guys. Because these um, Dollar Tree glue sticks, they're like, eh. They're eh, you know, you know. Oh, like this. Yummy, scrumptious. Yummy, yummy. This little domino is getting on my nerves a little bit, but it's all right because it's kind of, um, nah, I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay. All right, so now that I got that going, I'm going to add some glue here of this type and then i'm going to also add some of my other type which is the glue gun type oh it's cold over there i will change what oh because it was square <laughs> i got i got my picture here i just saw the diamond shape and i thought the diamond shape would look a little bit nicer and it everything is in the same way it's just that um you know, once I actually glued it down, I took some centimeters from myself here and there. 
<laughs> Plus, you guys know how I am. I'm like the nutty professor over here. Like, I start one way, I always end up another. With picture, without picture, I'm starting to realize it doesn't really matter. That doesn't really matter, you guys. This should be fine. Ah, no! Stay stuck. Whew. Okay, was able to fix that really quickly. It's a little crooked, you guys. It's a little crooked. And everything is really stuck. But it's all right. I'm not going to stress myself out over there. What goes under here? This kind of goes under there. So let's get another. Where do I have it? Let me just get a couple of these things out for myself. Because I have a feeling it's going to be one of those days. It's going to be one of those days, you guys. It would help if I would put it actually in there so that I can actually get some glue out of it, right? Okay, feed, feed, feed. Let's put this under there. Okay. And now we need some of these additional little pieces. This right now... Oh, is by the time that it's dry, is going to be completely stuck. But just to be safe, just to be safe. Let me do this. This is going to be very interesting. I've never done anything quite like this. I've never done anything quite like this. I will I will admit that. I'm trying to follow what I have on the picture. So what did you guys decide? Do we want the line or do we want the lamb? No, she won't. You want about Legos? I'm going to tell her what happened was that Santa was running out of toys to give to the children of the world. And he came here and borrowed some. So he got them. Go send him a letter. <laughs> he got them. That's what happened. He got them. That's not even supposed to go there. This is supposed to go there. You see what's happening to me now? Now I'm just adding stuff just for the sake of adding stuff. Okay, this guy's not going to hold there. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do now. Because he's not going to really hold there. Sounded like a good idea. Maybe I'll just put him backwards. Maybe I'll just put him backwards. If I put him backwards, what am I going to put on top of it? Huh, questions, questions. What? <laughs> He's not nice. <laughs> oh, thanks, Janet. No problem, darling. 
I'll talk to you later. The poor children now. Now it's the poor children. You guys are amazing. I'm going to put that one under there. Now it's poor children, right? Now it's poor children. Carmen took their Legos. And the ladder. And the ladder. <laughs> and the ladder. Oh, Lord, Lord. So I am debating right now, you guys. I might not use these gear pieces because it's not um it's not really gonna work the way I wanted it to work. I have another broken piece here. And I figured I'd take these out because well that might work in there. Ooh me likey. Me likey. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Everything usually looks crazy on the first round of it all, but usually. What is that last couple? Dominoes? Yeah. You took the dominoes too? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I took the dominoes too. That's so not nice right now. So not nice. All right, so let's get some more of these in here. Um, let's get some more of these. This is going to be very, very interesting. A lot of texture for sure. A lot, a lot of texture on here. I just wanted to do something different. I wanted to do something different, you guys. Where are my little bottle caps? Gotta be able to add these somewhere. Stupid ladder, how are you gonna go under it? Stay right there. This might be either my best work or my worst. I'm still not sure what's gonna happen here. I'm still not sure what's going to happen. Just the other one. Oh, they better not. They're not going to drive me crazy because I give them pen and pencils to color, okay? Pen, pencils, and paper. I forgot the paper because I don't want them crawling on my wall. <laughs> I got to give them, I gotta give them the paper because otherwise we might just have a problem here. We might just have a problem, Houston. So let's see. We're almost done with the gluing of the parts. Almost there, almost there. <laughs> um. Let's see. 
Let's see, let's see. What do I have here? I have this little makeshift um, scissor. That's how I rocks, man. That's how I rocks. That's what I does. <laughs> Just make sure the walls don't fall. <laughs> Make sure the walls don't fall. Red chip makes them connect four games. Huh? That red chip? Yeah. That's from connect four games. Oh, it's not. It's from a poker poker game. From a poker game? <laughs> I, th did you not read the title of today's live stream? <laughs> did you not get the memo? This is what we're doing today. <laughs> Do you remember those linking logs or whatever they was called? They used to come in the big tub of the sticks. They used to connect the sticks with the little circle pegs and used to put the sticks everywhere. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got all the vintage stuff. <laughs> I got the I got the little sticks right here. They used to go for that. They used to go for that right there. And now I have them here. I just don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen here, you guys. This can be the most awesomest thing in the world or a complete nightmare. This is not how I do things normally. So my brain is like short circuiting in a way. It's like, Carmen, what are you doing? 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 Oh, I want to add something. I want to add something that I have here. <gasps> light bulbs yes i want to add a light bulb where 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 hmm 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 i want to add a light bulb somewhere hmm can i will i hmm It's got to be flush or it won't work. It might not work. Because if I don't... Uh, and this is actual glass, you guys. But it's coated with something. But you know what? I'm not going to put it on. I'm going to try to make a mold out of it instead and try to use something that is not so easily breakable. Plus, I'm having an issue. Anyways. Anyways, I'm having an issue, you guys. I'm having an issue. Major malfunction here. Major, major malfunction. No, no, no. I don't do that. Oh, oh no, no, no. What do you think is a stamp? The light bulb or these, these little molds here. This is just net packaging that I'm just gonna glue on here as best as I can. As best as I can, you guys, let's see. I am going to add, let it just fall. And I'm going to try to, this thing is curling up, boy, like it's in the oven. Come on, go down. Go down. Go down and stay down. Go down and stay down. to your little friends yeah don't ever try to glue the plastic netting with um glue gun because it's gonna melt your netting i just experienced that myself firsthand 
Where else can I add a little piece? I'm just gonna add little little bits and pieces now because um, it's not really taking on to it too well. And I'm not using a matte medium or anything like that to glue these down. I'm just gonna do this like so. I don't mind the texture. So if it's lifting a little bit, I'm actually okay with that as long as it's holding itself down for the most part. And I won't be gluing this, um, not gluing this, I won't be drying it up with a heat tool either. I'm gonna go right into it for the most part with um, the gesso. I'm gonna turn this over, different perspective, add some more netting here and there, and then I'm gonna be done with this part here. Oh, this, these are actually molds that I made from um, glue sticks, melted glue sticks instead of silicone molds. And um, those were uh, kind of like a testing that I was doing to see if it was achievable. And in many instances, it was. Not in all, but in many. I'm always tr trying out different stuff like that because you never know. I'm going to add this little flower right here. Because I might as well. I have a little chipboard. Well, I'm going to add a butterfly, so I don't know if I want to add that. Um, a single rose. Single rose. Right here, maybe. Let's see. A single rose right here. And then I'm going to add just little circles of glue. These little circles of glue are going to dry out and pretty much add just little bits and pieces of dimension to my page. I'm um, not to my page, I'm in our journal mode, you guys. Um, to my canvas, and I don't mind wasting a lot of glue on these because. It's, you know, it's not the greatest glue in the world anyway, so I might as well use it for embellishments as well if I'm, not, if I'm already at it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, so sometimes you can, you don't even have to pull out your little package of embellishments. Sometimes you can actually just create your own embellishments with some glue guns, you know, with a little bit of glue stick here and there, adding some little elements here and there. The quality of the glue sticks at the Dollar Tree are getting worse every day. Every time you go, the product is worse and worse. They used to be clear, now they look like little sticks of milk, like, they're so milky now. So they don't dry all the way clear. No way near. No way near. So actually kind of uh, do this. And create a little bit of a frame there. 
And I'm going to do it again. And while I'm going to apply the gesso on this, I'm going to start working on my butterfly next. Um, and figuring out exactly what we're going to do. Have we decided on lion or lamb? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And to get it into her happy place. That's about it. Here's a little flower that I did also. This is made from the glue stick and the mold. Um, so I'm just gonna pull that right onto that. And hopefully it'll all, it'll all take well. And I think that's about it for me and the glue gun for right now. I'm just gonna set it off to the side. And I'm gonna start just sewing this. I'm going to start gestoing this. <laughs> oh, sucky, sucky. It's been forever and a day since I've had some coquito. All right, so let me put my glue gun away. Let me get my gesso. You're back. Oh, shoot. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. He is back. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to use um, Deco Arts gesso because I want it to dry fast. And my gesso, um, although it'll dry quick, it will not dry as fast as Deco Arts gesso. So I'm going to get myself a little plate. And I'm going to go to town here, you guys, brushing on all this yumminess. And I got to check my brushes sometimes, you guys, because I use my brushes on everything, everything. Might as well start with what's in the cap. So I'm just going to gesso this somewhat roughly. Again, I'm not going to be too overly um, stressed out. You guys know that I like to um, do my things kind of, you know, easy. Uh, I don't like to stress myself out too much when I'm creating fun out of it. This is supposed to be like my vacation time. And if I'm stressed out on vacation, then I'm going to need another vacation, right? So <laughs> I need this to be like, okay, no problem. Most of my canvas is white anyways, so I don't have to worry too much about priming um, the canvas. Regardless if it is already treated or not, I'm not worried about that because I'm not going into this into like a fine art type of um, style. This is just having fun. It's all it is for me. Therapy, free therapy, you guys. That's all it is for me. And I'm treating this because today I'm gonna be using some sprays. And I brought a plate out, not to look at it, but to use it. So let's get this out. Let's get some of this gesso out here. And normally I would kind of water it down and apply it on there all watered down, but I'm not going to do that. Well, maybe I should because it is a little thick. It's a little thick in here, you guys. It's a little thick. Just a little bit of water just to soften it up somewhat because it's a little thick. I've been working with my own um, homemade uh, gesso for the past couple of projects that I've made, so I think it feels a little neglected. OMG. Chocolate, too? <gasps> That must taste like a dream. 
I love anything and everything chocolate. He'll tell you. I love me chocolate Hershey. I love me hot cocoa. I love me anything chocolate. So pretty much I'm gonna prime this with the gesso mainly because um, this will just help the paint to grab onto it better. So when I go um, to start spraying and stuff like that, um, the spray will actually have stuff to hold on to. I'm not going to worry about all these little stringies that might be around from the glue gun because when it's all said and done, it'll just add texture um, and give my thing a little bit more character. Um, so I'm not going to worry about that too, too much. I am going to just the board that's underneath because that wasn't primed. So I will be doing that part of it. Then I'm going to get some flowers and um, work on my butterfly a little bit while this starts to kind of dry up some. And then I'm going to glue on the butterfly and then start adding some spray paints. And everything, everything on here is going to get gessoed for the most part. in my video this is the part that i will probably speed up <laughs> so um yes 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 and i'm trying to get into the habit of every time i do a live stream to kind of um download it again from youtube and speed it up you know edit it out do a better voice over where i'm actually giving the instruction of my thought process while i was doing this because usually as i'm doing it uh, my mind is not necessarily in blank but it's kind of off in a different place Wow. You guys are having a ball there. I used to think that my projects were quick. Like my projects don't take that much time until I started doing live. Then I started seeing the reality of how long um, the things that I create you know really take and that's when i'm doing it on a quick note because when i start taking my time doing something forget about it i can be there for two days straight not even blink an eye as to what time it is Mm. I did because I'm over here. I'm adding the gesso on this thing. I like cheesecake. Mm -hmm. I want too far. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, MG, you guys are too much. He just showed me the little dancing um <laughs> emojis. <laughs> oh my God, he's too funny, you guys. He's too funny. 
I wonder if they have like a spray on gesso. Have you guys ever seen like a spray on gesso? That might be a good thing to have. It's like a spray on gesso. Instead of having to do all of this, we could have been done already. But this is, uh, I guess, the fun part, right, of creating. We're almost there. Almost there, you guys. Deco Arts Gesso is like so thick. This is what happens when you use um, glue that's not really that great. You end up fighting with um, every little thing that you glue on. But it's a good way to kind of declutter all that toy, all them toys that you end up kind of like accumulating and losing pieces to. Um, I would not necessarily say go out and buy toys for this, but if you have, um, like I said, small children, or you have um, family members with small children, maybe they can save some for you. Huh? Maybe it's just some kids take their toys. No. <laughs> uh, well you know they haven't been here in a long time so what am i gonna do save it like a family heirloom no 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 i need room for my supplies <laughs> i need room for my supplies you guys these toys gotta go that space that that bag is holding is a space that um i can put a bag of crafts <laughs> i can put something that um you know I'm actually going to use. Even something you could use, Sasson, since you are evolving. I'm not using the kids' Legos. <laughs> You're not using the kids' Legos. Why? It's all right. Maybe they'll be happy, like, oh, you did that? With my toys? With my toys? <laughs> they might be like, oh, my God, I'm so proud of you, whoever you are. <laughs> Can I take that home and then they'll disassemble the whole so thing and get that? <laughs> or call me when you have more, okay? Call me when you have more toys. Mom, let's go. This lady has nothing in her house for me. <laughs> she glued them all down. What is this, a cruel joke? <laughs> I can't play with them anymore. All right. Well, you know, things happen. Things happen in the middle of the storm. 
And yes, everything is in here. Everything. And I think we are about all gessoed. Too long to dry, actually. This gesso dries rather quickly. <laughs> I'm just touching up wherever I feel that I'm. Um, Or I feel like I can use just a little bit more. The plastics is usually the hardest because paint, for the most part, when you spray it like that, it doesn't stay on too well. Just gonna put that all on there. And I'm gonna put this to the side and hopefully um, this will dry sooner rather than later. We're gonna get working on the other stuff. Where's my baby wipes? Where's my baby wipes? <coughs> Always remember to clean your brush. So I got that. I can throw this out now. All right, so let me show you guys so far. I think I got everything covered. You forgot to scroll me back down. I'm all the way in the top. Hi, Brandy, how are you, darling? I know, Isabel. They might not be too happy, but you know. Next time they need to come prepared. <laughs> bring, they got to bring their own toys and, and count them just to be safe. <laughs> yes, four babies. All right, so let me get the other stuff um, that I'm going to prepare now. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, thank you. Like you never really know, you know, you get you get just gather all different kinds of stuff and just play with it because you would never think to add all these different elements on a canvas and then just kind of, you know, wing it, if you will. And I'm all for winging it, you guys. You know that already about me. I like to find weird stuff and just throw it all together and just see what happens. And once you cover it all in gesso, it's all texture. That's really what you're left with. Yeah, you have dimension, but it's mostly all for texture. Um, and usually as the sprays come down and everything kind of starts to happen, you'll get all of these awesome little, um, you know, kind of things happening there. And that's what I hope to achieve. That is what I hope to achieve here. Um, it's just having all these different textures and just things kind of, they look a little hidden in the background, but they're not really that hidden. Um, so I'm going to put this to the side. It's kind of heavy now, you guys. Kind of heavy now. But I think it's mostly heavy because I put so much stuff on it. But, um, yes, this is something that I would definitely have to add something in the back if I want to hang it. Um, what do you guys think as far as how I should position this? Yeah, I think straight up like that with the flower in the top. Either way, it looks good, right? Either way, you can get away with it. Either way. Um, where's the butterfly? What did I do with the butterfly? What did I do with my butterfly? What did I do with my butterfly? Here it is. Oh, here it is. All right, so I'm gonna put this off to the side. Hopefully it dries. I am going to, um, I guess, gesso this too, right? That's what I wanna do. Is that what you want to do, Carmen? Yes, that's what I want to do. So I'm going to gesso this too. Let me get my brush back out. I'm going to gesso the butterfly. If 
But before I just saw the butterfly, I want to add some stuff to the butterfly's wings. What can I add to the butterfly's wings, Carmen? What do you have? What do you have? Ooh. I gotta get used to some of these little things that I have there. Um, I'm gonna be practicing some of my chunky charm making very, very soon. I'm gonna make some videos practicing um, how to do it. I'm not really that great at it yet, but I do hope to um get I do hope to get better. Um, I have something. Where is it? Where is the something that I have? I have something. I have a little box with um some gears if I can find it. Some actual little gears that I would love to use on this if I can find it if I can find it because I want to cut glue that on before I start adding um, all the gesso on it. Where did I put them? Isn't that the worst? You have something and then it's gone. And you don't even know where or why. Hmm. That's so strange. I literally had it in my hands like a little bit before I came on. Before I came alive. Where is it now? Everything wants to fall now because that's just how life goes. <laughs> yes, everything wants to fall now. That cord is nickels and dimes falling everywhere. I have a white feather that I might just add in there somewhere. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to have to give up on the notion that I'm going to be adding gears to this butterfly because it does not seem to be happening. So, yes, move on, shall we? <laughs> yes, it's a very pretty butterfly. It's a very, very pretty butterfly. Just going to water this down a little bit just so that I can kind of just apply it a little bit easier. And I'm just going to apply it everywhere, even over the little rhinestones everywhere. The problem with, with this is that you can't really heat set it because um, the fabric itself will probably melt. So I'm just going to do my best to at least get it on there. And I'm going to start spraying it from now. So hopefully it'll dry rather quickly. I'm also going to do the same thing to the canvas. I'm going to start spraying it uh, from now. So let's see. 
Now the question is, what is my color palette like? And the answer to that question is, I don't know. So let's see what I pull out. I have some sprays and I'm gonna just um, see what I get out of here. I kind of um, removed a lot of my inks from their original bottles because I was having issues with them spraying because they are acrylic paint. So it became a little bit hard. So I had to like uh, just kind of switch bottles. So I'm kind of like recycling um, some of the bottles that I have. I'm just seeing um, kind of what happens here. And I think I might have to kind of go in here and um, dry this thing off. But if I do go into dry mode just to give it like a little bit of drying here and there. I can go and I'll leave you here with Sasson entertaining you guys while I'm gone. I'll have him sit on my desk for a few minutes so he can play host for a little while while I go dry this. I like that. I like that very much. I have to clean out all my other bottles, which is why I have these in some, some of these in, in uh, temporary little containers like so. So I do have to go and dry them out. I mean, wash them out. Now, let me do the same. <laughs> okay so now we have that and now we're going to go ahead and even though this is not completely completely dry and it is actually recommended that you do it while it's completely dry i am going to go ahead and start adding some colors to this because i'm just going to dry it all at once let me take my phone over there so that i don't get paint spray all over it but I'm actually not gonna go into this on a spray added type of a situation. I'm actually just gonna go into it with a brush and add. Um, I think it'll help me get a little bit of control. As long as I do not tilt it over. And I mean the bottle, not the canvas. These are Deco Arts um, misters, which are permanent. Once um, they're dry, they will dry permanently, you guys. So, these are not like the other misters, which are a little bit more on the water soluble side. These are not like that. I want this to be kind of fun and bright, and I'm just going to see what the colors do. And I'm going to let them mix and mingle with each other. And overall, just see what they're going to do. Let me go into it with the brush as well. And what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna spray a little bit of water on here at some point. Right now I'm doing this somewhat in like a, a controlled situation. I'm kind of dictating where um, the paint is gonna go. But I will allow this to kind of feel a little bit more free in about a second. Where's the white? This. Time. 
Just love watching the paint kind of move and doing whatever it wants to do. Just doing whatever it wants to do. I'm gonna add a little bit. Let's see if this spray will work for me. A little bit of water here and there. Very controlled. Because I don't want it to get too um too crazy. But as you can see, I don't have anything on my surface to kind of protect it from when it goes haywire. I have some baby wipes. I don't want to waste all my baby wipes drying up a mess. So let's see here. What else do I have in here? Let's get this little light one out. Let's get this little lights one out. And this is a handmade one. These things, they work and then they don't work as soon as you hold them at a tilt. It's like the worst. I am. Of course. Oh, bye, Jackie. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will have finished um versions of this on my Instagram once this is all said and done. And I think once I dry this, I am going to apply some of the metallics. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to apply the wax. or what. I want to apply it everywhere. Like I normally go crazy with the waxes and stuff like that. I'm not going to apply it everywhere. But just in a couple of different little places here and there. Just to give it a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of joy. A little bit of joy. I'm going to go ahead and spray. See kind of what happens here. All spray bottle sprays wonderfully. For now, this have been newly transferred, so we're not sure what they're gonna do by the time that they're done. I should have another spray bottle here that doesn't have that doesn't have a home, if you will. Have, uh, here it is. No, not even this one. I'm just gonna add a little drop. Now I'm playing. I said a little drop. You saw that, you guys? A little drop, Carmen. Yes, a little drop. But look how pretty that marbling. Ooh, I like that. I like that marbling. Just gonna let it all kind of come down. I like that marbling, you guys. Kind of let it all kind of come down. It look really nice once it is all um set and done. I think this is gonna come out really, really pretty. Love you too, darling. So let's see, what other color do I want to add in here? Some black maybe, you guys. Should I risk it and add some little black in here? Add some black here and there? I think so. Very controlled, though. Very controlled. We're in the center of that flower. We're in the center of that flower. Right on some of these little pieces here. Right on top of these little domes that I've created. I'm just gonna add a little drop of black. 
and see what it does. Hopefully you guys are able to see that all the way through and through. And just gonna add a little bit right here. I don't want to add too too much, you guys, because I don't want it to all get like all muddy and looking and stuff like that. But I do want to add a little bit here and there to create a, a sense of shadow, if you will. Little sense of shadow here and there. Um, let me get a little bit of this one, the blue one. This thing's still not wanting to work. Alrighty, well there goes that idea. Let's add some white then. Make it all kind of flow. Make it all kind of flow. Okay, I like that. I like that. Let's get all these colors kind of flowing together. Can you guys see that? And all of these spray, um, all of these sprays, ex with the exception of this one, are all deco art acrylic um, media sprays. I think I'm just gonna leave the center as is, and then I'm gonna go and dry this up so that I can um, glue on my butterfly. And my canvas is pretty much completely, completely um, covered. Yes, yes, yes. So I think we are about done with this part of it. And I'm gonna add a little something, something here. Mm. This little domino here kind of stayed, kind of stayed. This thing sprays a lot, you guys. It's kind of hard to control it. It's a lot. Let's see. What do you guys think? I think it looks lovely. Right, it's looking pretty cool. And then once I start adding the some of the metallics over some of these raised edges, I think it's really gonna pop out. So I'll leave you guys chatting. I'm gonna go um, just heat blast this really quick for a few minutes. Um, give me like three minutes, four minutes, and I should have this nice and dry, as well as my pretty butterfly, which I'm gonna be putting on there. So I shall be back, you guys. I'm going to go and dry this up. You want to sit here and, and chit chat? So then you can type to them through there. I'll be right back, you guys. I'm going to go heat set this. Time to go to your party breaks and.
get your coffees and all of that good stuff. I'll be right back. What? I'm gonna go guys real quick. I'll be back in like three minutes. All right, you guys, I'm back. Hopefully you are back as well. 
I did the best I could with drying them. But um, at the end of the day, I am working with some sensitive materials here. And um, it's not as easy to dry them because they do, they can burn. So I did the best that I could under the circumstances. Thank you, darling. I really do like it. Overall, it's very vibrant and funky. You can't go wrong with vibrant and funky, right? <laughs> All right, so I got a mess on my desk, which I will have to clean, but for the most part, I think I got it pretty good. So I'm gonna rub on some metallic luster here and not metallic yeah metallic luster and i'm gonna get um what color maybe some fab fuchsia um a little bit of silver no not silver i want gold that's green. I don't want green. Um, I'm gonna switch out. That's actually yeah, that's gold right there. Some some fetch fuchsia and white. Let's try those three and see where we go. And we will see where we go from there. The fat fuchsia is very similar to. Um, this color that I got going on right now. Look how beautiful. This is called Fab Fuchsia. And we are going to apply it. We can. Just to give it a little bit of um, shimmer. Give it something to shine about. <laughs> Give it a little sparkle. And where else, where else? Let's go into this flower. Let's go into this little rose right here. Give it a touch of life. Some of these textures. Yes, 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 yes. Let's try some of this white. And add some white here and there. Yes, purple. <laughs> yes, yes, yes to the purple. Let's add some white. If I can open it. Yeah, well, there we go. And this is called White Frost. And yeah, this right there. This is gonna help some of those textures that I stenciled on before I came on live. Um, kind of show through. I absolutely love these butters, you guys. Love, love, love these butters. You can never go wrong. Let's grab some gold. I'm going to turn that on. 
Let me clean my dirty little finger and grab some gold from here. Kind of dabbing it on with one. Mixing and mingling these colors together. It's just something about them when they come when they come together, they just look so pretty. They just look so pretty. Let me see. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I think I am satisfied for the most part. What do you guys think? Do you like? So I am going to be done with this part of it now, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and um, pick what side I think I want this to be this side. And I'm going to add my butterfly right there. See, it started trying to break right there on me. Ugh. It started trying to break on me right there, you guys. So, so let's see if I can hold it down. Hopefully, that'll grab it for me. Yes, yes, yes.
that'll work, that'll work, that'll work. No, that will not work. And I really want to add, where is the little guy at? Either the lion or the lamb. So I think I'm going to go with the lion. I don't know if that would be a bit much. Actually, it looks kind of cute. <laughs> Let's see if it'll hold it because that's the biggest question here. Will this hold this lion? That is literally the biggest question here. This is like one of the most whimsical things I've done, I think, in all this time. But I really, really like it. It's very cute for like a children's room. Or somebody who is absolutely in love with lions. A lion fairy, you guys. Have you ever seen a lion fairy before? I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. I just hope that it'll hold. I hope that it'll hold. Now let me go ahead and grab some flowers that I'm going to add, some paper flowers that I'm going to add here and there. And then this will be done. And I think in record-breaking time because I've never finished a live in less than three hours. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see, let's see. Hmm? It does, right? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at the beginning, I was a little bit like, I was a little bit insecure. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit unsure. But um, I think it did kind of come together. Hmm? Oh, the white and the blue. Yeah. I'm gonna add. I think I'm gonna add those. Maybe some. Maybe some yellow and white flowers, just to bring out some of that yellow a little bit more, especially because the lion is yellow. Uh, so hopefully that'll kind of bring it all together for me. We shall see. We shall see. Just gonna add a few here and there. Nothing too too major. I'm gonna see how these look on there. If I don't like it, then I'm not putting them on. Okay. So let's see. I'll put like here, like on his little paws. I might be able to work that out. I gotta see what I have. I'm running low on the blingage. I have a lot of pinks, but not so much, um, you know, the other stuff. Ugh.
feel like I have to give that diamond on purpose. I like how this looks so far. Huh? In the corner. No, on the corners of the card you place behind them. Oh, on here. Okay. I gotta see what I find. I gotta see what I find to um to embellish these corners a little bit. I gotta pull out my little bling box. <laughs> my little bling box, you guys. Let's see. I'm just like super happy with how this thing turned out all the way, all the way through and through. Super happy with how it turned out. I could definitely um, add maybe a little bit of blingage here and there. Let's see. Let me see what I find as far as blingage. Maybe some pearls, some white pearls. Let me see. Let's see, let's see. Let me see. Yeah, I something. I found the other ones. Let's see, let's see what looks good here. Um, Oh, I heard you, darling. But I gotta do those, I guess, aesthetically correct to me. And I kind of like the idea of putting three on here in the white and just seeing like how that kind of uh, flows out. It's kind of having there. I added way too much glue on here. And seeing where else I can add just a few, maybe add another three, like right here. What do you think? And I'm following the pattern of how I've had the whole thing out with the vertical and the diagonal lines. Um, kind of like how that looks. Ugh. Come on, little flat back. Stay still. Stay still, little flat back. That's all I need you to do. Ah, oh, it keeps getting stuck to my finger. Okay, I'm just not going to touch that. <laughs> uh. 
See here, I feel like adding another one of the yellow flowers. I think that since I've added the flowers into this corner already, that I think that just finishing it off with a third flower as opposed to adding the little pearls will kind of look okay there. And then I could just add some of the other pearls like in other pieces of, um, in other parts of this. Since I'm already like neck deep in this whole situation with these flowers. <laughs> This was like an awesome deal that I got um, for the little ones. And like I have these other ones, not the ones that you sent me, Tanya, but um, for these little ones, I got like the most amazing deal on, on, I think it was Instagram. This girl was like getting rid of her whole stash and she sent me like a whole bunch and I think I paid like 10 bucks for it. I was like in flower heaven for a while. For a nice while, but for a while nonetheless. These are strips, I wonder. If I can do like curving these out, let's see. I don't know if you can see what I'm actually doing. Thank you. Um, but I'm gonna try to. I'm wondering if that looks good with some bling on the side. With some of this yellow bling right here. Just along that edge. And then adding here another row. And oh, I don't want to add that there. Maybe I'll add a flat back to that of anything. What do you think? Oh, Tara, hi. Hello, precious. Um, I think to cover up some of these little faces, because these little things actually have like little smiling faces on them. I'm going to add bling on these little pieces here. These little round little... um spokes that are coming out. Oh, that looks pretty. I like that a lot. Girl, you hooked me up with this put on the bling idea. I wasn't even thinking about bling. But you're always thinking about bling, Miss Glitz. Miss Glitz, <laughs> you're always thinking about the bling. <laughs> yes, you are, darling. Yes, you are. And I'm going to do the same up here. That, um, this is pretty much done. OMG. At 8, I lasted two hours today. I'm in shock. And I'm actually removing them off the sticky stuff so that they land right on that glue. I want them to be completely grabbed. And once this glue dries, it dries clear. So I'm not going to really stress um, the fact that the glue shows now because it won't be showing for much longer. And what else can I add some bling? I 
I feel like I can add Blink somewhere else. Um, on the wings. No, that's just way too much yellow at that point. Um, that's way too much yellow there. Where's the white? Where's the flat? Where's the flat packs? Here we go. No, that won't go there. That won't look right there. <coughs> so I think I'm pretty much done. What do you think? What fell off? Uh, is this what's going to happen to my canvas halfway through? All the pieces are going to literally fall off? You got to be kidding me. <laughs> Thank goodness I still have my heat gun on. This thing said bloop. <laughs> I tell you, when you go live, all that can go wrong shall go wrong. And this is the problem with sometimes working with plastics, that things don't easily adhere to them, but it's no biggie. If it falls off again, I'll eat 6,000 it. <laughs> um, but I really, really like this. We need some kind of a phrase, right? We need it to say something. What do you think? We need a sentiment on here? On the opposite side on top here. Because this one I put the white here. So should I add? I don't know. Should I add more of the white here along the top? And add more of the white there? I think that's probably what I'll end up doing then. So I'll add more of the white instead of the three. Then I'll just finish the line down. And then I can finish the line across the top so it all matches. Did you see that, babe? The flower literally just like fell off. Right in the middle of my life. How embarrassing. <laughs> oh, man. So then I'll just do this and finish it off with the white. So it all looks, you know, even, I guess. And my spacing is probably off between each bead, but it's all right. I won't worry about the spacing too much. Girl, by the time I read your no, I'm already halfway down the <laughs> gluing process. <laughs> yes. Ain't that the truth, darling? So, pearls and golds, golds and pearls. And I have two more left, so I don't think I'll be able to add any more in here for now. I think maybe I'll get rid of this little flower here and add another little flower cluster here. And I think that that'll probably help it out some. My hands are dirty. Kind of got that one a little dirty there. So I'll do one of these. And I'll add some yellow flowers here. I think that'll probably be the best day. <laughs> yes. Yes, darling. Yes. By the time that you go say no, Carmen already done glued on five things. I'm trying to figure out which little flower do I want. I don't like that one so much on this. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go with this one. And then I'm just gonna fun and fun and fun and get it all done. So 
So help me give that flower a little bit of dimension there. It's a little flat. It's a little flat. And then let's do the same on here. Clusters of three, I need one more. Thank you, darling. I do try, that I do do. <laughs> and it's crazy because I'm doing this and I don't have a clue in my mind as to what it's gonna look like once I do it at all. I don't, I can't envision this, these things for as much as I wish I could. I cannot envision them. I try to see like what the completed project is going to look like, like, you know, make some kind of a mental diagram. I can't, these things are just like a wing and a prayer. And I'm just lucky that they do work out a lot for the most part, but yes, yes, yes. I think it's lovely. And all the bling and the flat backs and stuff like that. See, now I think I can add the two right here. Where are them? Where are they? Where did I put them? Right here. Now I think I can add two right here because I added those flowers and I think that these two will fit perfectly right there to kind of finish off that, um, that frame. Might as well use them all and not save them. There we go. Now I think that that kind of finished it off completely. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Doesn't it look like a fairy tale? <laughs> like I just see it and I see fairy tale. I see a kid's imagination while he's trying to go to sleep, looking at his stuffed animals and turning them into all kinds of things and be the pool lives in this world of toys that like you know do all these things like this is kind of how i feel about this like this is my winnie the pooh type of thing really really like it and once it's probably dry all the way through and through i might go in and just do some touch-ups here and there like on some of the edges and stuff like that that i don't feel that they're complete all the way through but other than that i think this is done and i absolutely love it and i am very encouraged to do more things like this in the future so don't be surprised if you see me finding little things like this and just um doing these kinds of canvases because i really did enjoy making this one you guys and with that being said i want to thank you all so so much for hanging out with me i will have a speed up version um with you know a voiceover that is going to be uploaded uh, probably tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. I also have my Art Journaling Basics um, series, which is a series that I have started in order to um, kind of get you started and going if you do want to do like art journaling or anything like that and you've never done it. Um, I'm Right now I'm doing a follow along series. So, you know, anybody that watches this later on or now and wants to do it, then you feel, you know, feel free to more or less follow along, create your art journal pages and upload them, share them with us, you know, and I'm going to also have some prompts for that later on as well. So you guys can create your own art journal pages if that's something that you guys wish to do. And yes, lots of fun in the crafty world, you guys. Lots of fun in the crafty world. I am going to fix this right here. I'm not sure what I'm going to add to it or if I'm just going to clip these or take these things off completely. But I'm not really feeling these right here. So I might do something to them. I'm not sure what yet. Um, but other than that, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So this is what it is, you guys. Thank you all so, so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And if I don't see you or, you know, speak to you guys from here to the next year, then I want to wish you all an awesome, awesome Christmas and Merry, you know, Merry Christmas and an awesome new year. 
I almost said that backwards. And I will definitely be here in 2018, God willing. Knocking on wood for that one. <laughs> and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.